This woman who you hold by the hand, she's to be your wife. She's given you one of the most sacred things under heaven. A woman's life and a woman's love. You may bring her great joy, or you can cause her deep sorrow. It is not what you bring to her in a material way that will make true happiness. You see, riches without love, they're nothing. The gift without the giver is bare. Billy, admit, may I ask you to repeat these vows of this lifelong commitment, along with these witnesses who are here and gathered today in the presence of God. Will you repeat after me? I will. I, Billy. I, Billy. Take you, Lisa. Take you, Lisa. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To have and to hold. Have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love, honor, and cherish. I will love, honor, and cherish. You. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Lisa. <laughs> This man who you hold by the right hand is to be your husband. On your life, your love, and your devotion, he will lean for strength, and he'll look for inspiration. He's going to look to you for encouragement, for cheerfulness, and he's going to look to you for confidence. No matter what the world may say or think, you see, people may forget him, they may lose confidence in him, and they may turn their backs upon him. At least you must not. May your life and your love be the inspiration that will constantly lead him to greater dependence upon our Lord Jesus Christ. Lisa, will you repeat the following vows along with these witnesses gathered here and in the presence of God today? I, Lisa, take you, Billy. I, Lisa, take you, Billy. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. I will love, honor, and cherish. I will love, honor, and cherish. You all the days of my life. You all the days of my life. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. You see, then you are given to each other, for richer and for poor, for better and for worse, in sickness and in health, until death shall part both of us. At this time, we move into our exchange of rings. We both have them right. <laughs> <laughs> You see, the ring, it's a ceaseless, it's a never-ending reminder of this day, of this very special hour, of the remainder of your lives and the vows both of you have taken. You see, the ring is perfect and pure, and it's a complete circle, never-ending. Billy, will you give this ring to Lisa as a token of your love for her? I will. Billy. <laughs> as you do this, will you repeat after me as you put the ring on her finger? With this ring, I pledge my love and life to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lisa, as you take this ring you have for Billy, it also is a ceaseless reminder of this day, of this very hour for the remainder of your life, for the vows that both of you have taken. And it's also perfect and pure to remind you of that. Lisa, as you give this ring to Billy, will you give it to him as a token of your love for him? And repeat after me. With this ring, With this ring I, pledge I pledge my love and life to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Billy and Lisa, as you rejoin your right hand in front of me, this congregation, and mostly, and most importantly, in front of God, I declare today that Billy, you, and Lisa have already coded together according to the teachings of Scripture, which is even more important than the laws of the state. And so I also, as an officer of the state, but most importantly a minister of the gospel, I will pronounce that you are husband and wife. So no longer are they two, but one flesh, one new family. You see what God has joined together, let no one separate. As we finish this time together, once again, as we begin with prayer to talk to the creator of the universe, no better way for us to end this time together than to once again talk to God, the Father. Father, we bow before you. You are great and we are small and we thank you 
for the grace of life and of love. We thank you for this beautiful symbol of your love for us as we look at mirrors today. And Father, today from the scripture we read that a strand of three cords is not quickly broken. I pray, Father, that this knot of three strands will not just be Billy and Lisa, but the unbreakable third strand of yourself, your spirit, to guard and protect, and that many blessings can be reaped from this life together. Father, my prayer would be that this minister would be less so you can become greater, that the ministry and the life of Billy and Lisa, Father, that they would be united as they become ministers together in one. And each one of us gathered today, Father, we would be challenged and encouraged by this special event, this miracle of a new family today. And it's only in the one powerful name we can pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Billy and Lisa, the greatest blessing I could give to you is the same one that the Lord God gave to the family of Israel in the Old Testament. In Numbers chapter 6, it was said, The Lord bless you and protect you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So they will put my name on them and I will bless them says the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Billy, you may kiss your bride. The new family of Mr. and Mrs. Green.